in the circulation, uh, first chapter of examination of, of the wise, uh, it says, as the ocean is not filled up by the by rivers, the king's treasury is not sated by wealth. Sense desires are not quenched through indulgence, and the wise are never slack with good advice. In Tibetan, it says, so it means the ocean, although it's very deep, very vast, and has lots and lots of water, but still ocean is never satiated by water. Still, uh, ocean collects more and more water from different rivers, from different seas, day and night, all the time. And also, the king's treasure, although it has lots of precious jewels, lots of wealth, but still the king tries to collect more and more wealth to put into his treasure. So it's not uh, satiated by wealth. They even want more and more all the time. And then uh, ordinary human being we have this uh, sense of desire and no matter how many times that we indulge in desire but still we are not satisfied, we are not satiated. For example, like food, we always need food and for clothes, we always want to buy and want to buy more and more. And also, <clears throat> there are many other sense desires that we are never uh, satiated or satisfied. So these three, um, the ocean, the treasure, the sense desire, these three are never satiated by water, wealth, and by desiring objects. So similarly, the wise person, they never satiated by good advice. Even though uh, they have studied for so many years and they have gained knowledge, they are learned, but still they are never satisfied with their knowledge. They will still want to learn more and more. In the dynamic world and also in the our human world in, in general also, those who are very educated, those who are great scholars or great professors, and they learn for so many decades, but still they want to learn more and more, and they find more and more new things, and they gain more and more knowledge <clears throat> Similarly, on uh, great scholars on Dharma, for example, one of my root guru is uh, the late uh, great abbot Kenchan Rinpoche. Although he is very learned, both in sutra and tantras, and he learned like almost all his life, but still 
He reads many Dharma books. He reads many texts, root texts, commentary texts, and still learning more and more. So, such great scholar never satiated by good advice or by teachings or by Dharma. He still wants to learn more and more. So here the advice that we need to take is we should not satisfy with our own knowledge. We should learn more and more because knowledge is like an ocean. It never ends. We can't say we learn everything in this life. It is not possible. So try to learn as much as one can. Just as three examples, we should not satisfy with our knowledge. We should learn more and more and, and make our wisdom greater and greater. So as it is mentioned in the earlier verses, earlier verse, that even though uh, one cannot study all, but it is like depositing the knowledge and then in the next life one can learn easily or one can gain knowledge easily because one has learned so many things in this life. So anyway, one should not satisfy it with the knowledge that one has, one should always try to study more and more and gain more and more knowledge so that one can uh, can uh, really benefit more and more people or more and more sentient beings. <laughs>